Hello everyone and welcome back to Jagrit Educational Channel. So this is the time to announce the top performer for the month of March for the Environmental Science Quiz which we conduct every week to prepare ourselves for the Environmental Science entrances and to know something about our environment. So we are going to know some of the important facts related to environment which is going to help you in the examination. So without much delay, let's get started. So those who want to know the rules for participating in this quiz contest can pause this video and go through all these rules because by performing well you can become the top performer of the month and can win the cash prizes every month. So now let's discuss the questions. The first question is on your screen. The question is which is not true about the non-renewable resources. So this question was a bit complicated for some of you. So it is mentioning which is not true. That means which is false about the non-renewable resources. And I'll wait for certain seconds. Then I'll reveal the correct answer. So here the correct option will be option A. That means they cannot be stored for future use. It is not true about the non-renewable resources. Because the non-renewable resources can be stored for the future use. Yes, these things are very very important which we should know about renewable and non-renewable resources. So let's move to the next slide to know the comparison. And these are important points kindly note it down because it will be helpful in the examination. First point, renewable resources can be replaced by natural process in a short amount of time or it can be recycled. Whereas non-renewable resources that either cannot be replaced or may take millions of years to replace by natural process such as coal and oil formation. Second point is renewable resources can be reused or recycled and used multiple times but non-renewable resources cannot be reused or recycled. Third is the examples of the renewable resources they are wind energy, solar power, hydroelectricity and geothermal energy whereas non-renewable energy resources includes petrol, coal, natural gas, nuclear energy and all the fossil fuels and last but not the least most important point renewable resources do no harm or very very less harm to the environment because of its use whereas huge harm is done to the environment with the non-renewable resources so they are harmful because they release harmful emissions to our environment so i hope you have noted down all these points let's move to the next question the second question is coming from the ozone and the question is which of the following is not an ozone depleting substance. So again one question which is not and the options are substances in fire extinguishers, isopropyl alcohol, substances in air conditioners and number D is pesticides. So here I will not take much of your time. I will reveal the answer. The answer is isopropyl alcohol is not an ozone depleting substance but these three are the ozone depleting substances we will know a bit more about these things because this is also one of the very frequently asked concept for the environmental science entrances first thing is chlorofluorocarbons very very important ozone depleting substances what are the sources their sources are refrigerators air conditioners solvents dry cleaning agents same thing halons they are fire extinguishers, they are having them. Carbon tetrachloride are also ozone depleting substances, in short ODS. They are also found in the fire extinguishers as well as in some solvents. Methyl chloroform, it is also ODS which is found in adhesives and aerosols. Hydrofluorocarbons, they are also ozone depleting substances but less powerful than chlorofluorocarbon. They are used in fire extinguishers, air conditioners and in solvents. So this table also you should make. These are the ozone depleting substances and their sources are mentioned in the right hand side. Let's move to the next question. So the question 3 is on your screen and all of you those who participated in this quiz have given wrong answer to this question. So let me read the question first. Question is this refers to atmospheric disturbance and recurrent ocean warming. So all of you have given the option as both A and B that is El Nino and La Nina. It is not the correct option. It will be El Nino Southern Oscillation. It is asking about ocean warming. Warming phase is El Nino. Cool phase is La Nina. So these things you should remember because these are one of the very very frequently asked questions in the environmental science entrances. We will know a bit more about this concept because they are very important as I said. So you should write down. El Nino is a climatic pattern that describes the unusual warming of the surface water. 
in the eastern tropical pacific ocean el nino is also called as the warm phase of a larger phenomenon called the el nino southern oscillation that means enso enso whereas la nina is called the cool phase of enso that means el nino southern oscillation which is a pattern that describes the unusual cooling of the region's surface water so here cooling for la nina and warm phase is el nino and el nino and la nina are considered the ocean part of enso that means el nino southern oscillation while the southern oscillation is its atmospheric changes so here option will be option b will be the correct option for this question so i hope you have noted down and you have understood the concept let's move on to the next question the next question is from the current affairs the question was which institution issued the world's first wildlife conservation bond so it is a bond and which institution issued the world's first wildlife conservation bond here the options are on your screen i will not take much time i will reveal the correct option correct option is option a world bank is the institution which has issued the world's first wildlife conservation bond we will know a bit more about this yes beautiful picture of rhinos coming in front of our screen the concept you should note down is that the world bank which is also known as international bank of for reconstruction and development in short ibrd it has issued the wildlife conservation bond in short wcb to support of south africa's efforts to conserve the endangered species of black rhino so specifically for black rhino this world bank has issued wildlife conservation bond and this wildlife conservation bond is also known as rhino bond very important rhino bond it is a 5 year project and this bond is having the worth of 150 million dollar sustainable development bond so these things you should note down for general knowledge also very very important let's move on to the next question the next question is question 5 union environment ministry has designated which day as national dolphin day so here for some of you it will be the new term or new date which you should know and the correct option is option d october 5 is regarded as the national dolphin day yes you should note down some of the more important facts so this union environment ministry designated 5th october as national dolphin day and the decision was taken by nbwl yes what is this nbwl nbwl is known as national board for wildlife and as per the experts ministry should focus on improving the flow and water quality in river ganga yes flow and river quality in river ganga so that its tributaries will be helpful for the survival of the gangetic dolphin that's why this day is known as national dolphin day october 5th so now it's time to reveal the top performers for this quiz contest so these are the top performers for this week's quiz contest dibejit parida jasmin geeta mahak and anurag so congratulations to all of you and well done keep up the good work and now it's time to reveal the name of the top performer for the month of march and the top performer is anurag bera so congratulations to anurag for becoming the top performer of the month so this is because of your dedication and consistency keep it up and you are an example to many of the environmental science aspirants so all the best for the examination and if you like this video guys don't forget to subscribe the channel to get further updates and to prepare for the environmental science entrances for daily quiz you can join our telegram group the link will be provided in the description see you guys in our next video till then keep preparing believe in yourself and keep smiling